Hello, this is spring, and spring is the season of morals. Can we find morals here? Yes, I just found morals in the freaking green roof. We are in a green roof now, look at behind me. What we have here are morals, isn't it fantastic? We are in a green roof and the only plantation we have here is sedum. Sedum are all these little plants that are a little bit red here, you can see. These are Crassulacean plants that, is the, that are the rare ones that can live in such a shallow soil. That's why we were pretty surprised to see when I missed them. They were close to here, I missed them. Because they are here. Yeah. And in this type of soil, what do we have? Yes, here. Fantastic. What a beautiful moral here. And there. Yes. One here, two here, and so one here. There, another one. What are those? These are called Verpa Conica. And you are thinking probably, yeah, François Common, these are not morals, these are just like looking like dead fingers out of the floor. These are, and they are small like this, what can we do with that? We cannot eat them. But you are wrong, uh, technically it belongs to the morals, to the Morcellaceae, the family of morals. And um, uh, just like the morals, they are very toxic when they are eaten raw, and they are tasty apparently when they are eaten cooked. I will not try though because well I'm a risk averse person but uh, well sorry you could. This is how they look like when they get old. Uh, old pepper. And here we have another one that is about to grow you see. Oh man there are so many. Oh another one there. And there, oh, so cool. Man, they're all over the place. And here as well. And here, a baby one, huh? Look how cute this is. Oh, there's a big one there. So it's very strange to find it in this environment because it's uh, supposed to be a bit like the morals to, to be found in association with trees, often. Well, not always, huh? morals, there are some. Uh, we are not always sure that they are completely dependent on, on trees, but um, so here there is no freaking tree. Uh, there are only sedum, which are not supposed to be in association with this type of uh, mushroom. And there is nothing to eat basically on this type of, uh, um, of very shallow soil. So what are they doing here? That's uh, a bit of a mystery and it was a great surprise. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys because freaking hell. They are everywhere. So there is one here, but I missed just that one. And uh, wait, there is a here. Oh, I was stepping on them. What a malakas. I was stepping on these um, uh, jewels of creation. Yeah? Maybe it's a bit of an overstatement. I destroyed one, I will smell it. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. So, you know, when you came back from a training, a football training, for example, or gardening the whole day in a very wet boot, and then you keep your socks wet for a few days at the bottom of your bag. That's, that's the smell. That's the one. Yeah. Verpa conica. Does it make you want to eat it? Fantastic shape. Fantastic smell. Awesome. Verpa conica. Putain, c'est dégueulasse. Bah. Pfff. Allez, see you next time.